the differences between horizontal and vertical Coriolis effect for the purposes of long-range rifle shooting. <laughs> The differences between horizontal and vertical Coriolis effect for the purposes of long-range rifle shooting. The Coriolis effect is the effect Earth's spin has on objects. Now this man claims that even a bullet traveling 740 miles per hour at a short distance is affected by the rotational spin of the Earth. If that is the case then the same rotational spin of the Earth, or Coriolis effect, would also be applied to aircraft that leave contact with the Earth itself. The Coriolis effect would not care if it were a plane or a bullet, but affect both objects the same. This plane is attached to the ground. If the Earth were spinning beneath the plane, the plane would spin at the same rate of the earth or the plane would be affected by the Coriolis effect, meaning that the plane has to be traveling at the same rate the earth is. If the plane, let's say, is on the equatorial center of the earth, then the plane would be traveling approximately 1037 miles per hour even though the plane was stationary and fixed to the ground. As the earth spins, the plane would simply move along at the same rate of Earth spinning, or called the Coriolis effect. The plane is affected by the rotational speed of the Earth at the equator center. Therefore, the plane speed is 1,037 miles per hour. If the plane were to leave the solid firm ground below, then the plane would no longer be fixed to its reference frame on Earth. Or, in other words, the plane would not be able to spin at the same rate of the Earth or be affected by the Coriolis effect. This is why they claim that bullets and ballistics need to account for the spin rate of the Earth simply because Earth spinning below a bullet moves the target away from the bullet's straight line of fire. This is a 747. Its maximum cruise speed is 570 miles an hour. If this plane were trying to travel eastward along the equator, we have to keep in mind that the Earth is spinning at 1,037 miles an hour. Watch what happens as we have a plane that is stationary on the ground and a plane that leaves the Earth under its own power at a speed of 570 miles an hour. The plane that is moving faster is the plane that is on the ground. It is sitting on its runway fixed to the hard surface of the earth and is affected by the Coriolis effect, meaning that the plane is moving at the same rate that the earth is moving. The plane that appears to be slower is a plane that has left the ground and is flying under its own power at its max cruise speed of 570 miles an hour. If you notice, the plane that is fixed to the ground is able to outrun the plane flying under its own power along the equator at 570 miles an hour. A plane leaving the equator center traveling east under its own power with a max speed of 570 miles an hour would never be able to reach its destination simply because the ground beneath is moving at a rate of 1037 miles per hour. We can see that the plane that is fixed to the ground and stationary on earth is moving faster than the plane that has actually left the ground and is now flying. The plane that is flying will never reach its destination, continuing to travel east. There are still a few people left on Earth that believe the Earth is spinning. Their explanation is that the air above the Earth spins at the same rate the Earth is spinning. Even though air is comprised mostly of nitrogen and oxygen, and is a gas and far less dense than the ground, they believe that the atmosphere acts like a solid as hard 
and as dense as the ground planes land on. This is simply not true. As we increase in altitude, air density actually becomes less. The more a plane travels upwards, up to 38,000 feet, the plane is in a far less dense atmosphere. Now, the plane, even though in a far less dense atmosphere, is still able to keep its ground speed under its own power. Therefore, we have to conclude that the atmosphere is not a solid, but a gas of nitrogen and oxygen, and that the Earth cannot possibly be spinning. If a plane were to try to land on an object spinning so fast below it, this would be the result. <laughs>